Patrick, what can you teach us about what Paul is saying um, to the members of his time that relates to what we go through it, it, it today with these feelings of always falling short? Yeah, I mean, it's it's so common. It's so so easy to feel. And I, I think for um, for Paul, it was it was a process. Mm -hmm. uh, he certainly he had um, that instantaneous moment, right? That 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 moment right. on the road to Damascus where he saw Jesus, and that changed everything in his life. But but then he had to take some time. It took him years before he really started into the ministry. He had to really figure this out. And then and then he grows, and we see some of his own foibles, some of mm -hmm. his own flaws on display. But then by the end of his life. In 2 Timothy chapter 4, this is, this is maybe one of the very last things he writes. This is one of the last letters. And uh, in chapter 4, verse 7, he says, I've fought a good fight. I've finished my course. I've kept the faith. All right? It wasn't, I did it all overnight. Mm -hmm. Right? It wasn't like I was perfect right from day one. It was like he kept at it. Right? And here is the great apostle of grace. Yeah. Right? But he says, I had to work at it. I had to keep going. I had to let that grace transform me day after day, week after week, year after year, until he could send it at the end of his life. I did my best, right? I let God's grace transform me and so that I could become the vessel that God wants me to be.